Hey everybody and welcome. Got an exciting update for you all. So 10 months ago, I climbed a mountain here locally, made it to the top, slipped, tore my quad tendon. And ever since then, I have been really wanting to get back up that mountain and knowing that I need to um, and come on back down on my own power. So I was finally able to do that uh, last Tuesday and I probably could have done it a couple months ago, but I have been rehabbing uh, yet another injury, uh, less significant, but um, I've had this chronic Achilles tendonitis in my left leg, and um, I also started developing it on my right a little bit. So anyway, I've been rehabbing and having a lot of success with that and didn't want to jinx it, so I held off until I was feeling better, and so I finally did it. So I took some footage and I just wanted to share it with you all and hopefully it brings some inspiration. Almost to the top. So I'm not 100% sure if it's the exact place where it happened. We went around trying to find, find the exact spot, but to give you a general idea of what happened, I, it was a, kind of a rock like this. It was a little wet. Um, I don't think it was as steep as this. Um, but anyhow, made the choice to try to, I actually saw it and was like, you know, that looks a little dangerous. And uh, so be careful. And I stepped on it, just kind of stepped down and shoo, slipped, fell on my ass. And next thing you know, see I just fell, or my leg was behind me and I brought it around. And I was like, I don't know, it was super trippy. Just felt numb and I could tell something wasn't right. And I was like rubbing it. And I had these exact pants on, and I brought it up, and I was looking at it, and I could see the divot, the gap right here, and I couldn't extend my leg. Um, and I just knew then that it was the quad tendon that had, had ripped. And so yeah, at that point I basically knew I was screwed. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's the story, man. Had to be piggyback up to the heel by the cameraman, who's truly, and uh, I have the fire department search and rescue take me out down the rest of the way. And uh, so that's not gonna happen today. <laughs> We're gonna actually make it down the hill on my own power. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how it's gonna go. Like, I wonder how it will do. Did really well on the way up. Um, but as a side note, when we got here in the parking lot, I was reaching into my car have the driver's door open and then it was kind of on a slant so the driver's door came in whacked and hit this leg in my, my calf muscle and it's super sore a little inflamed it was just kind of like the cosmic joke of <laughs> the same same leg so uh it's a little stiff right now that's not going to help me out any but um uh, i can walk and that's the main point all right so let's see how it goes i think we're ready to go down the mountain so wish me luck and just for reference, I mean, this is not just your regular, <laughs> you have glowing beams behind you. <laughs> this is not just like your own, you know, regular hike. It's, it's got some, it's got some special, special steps. Made it down the mountain, baby, on my own power. <laughs> Much different than last time. Woo! So there you go, everybody. I did it. Finally completed that cycle. Um, it felt really good on a physical and also a psychological, emotional, mental level um, to finally complete that because that was just, you know, weighing heavily on my mind that, you know, this needs to be done. And so. Now that it is done, I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things. So hopefully more hiking and backpacking with no injuries. That is the, um, that is the goal. I've definitely changed the way that I feel um, about being on trails and hikes and have got a little bit of a plan B of how to move my body and how to prepare, uh, prepare for uh, something that potentially could have a slip. So. You know, these things can happen all the time. Can't, you know, be 100%, but um, I think I have a better plan going forward. So I'm a couple days away now from the hike and 
It was mostly a success, uh, mainly because I made it down my own power with uh, no major injuries. My medial meniscus is a little tender. Now I have a, a medial meniscus tear that showed up on the MRI when I um, tore my quad, and I don't know if that was from the injury or if that was uh, previously there. Um, but I'm a little tender there. Um, it's nothing major, but it does bring a little bit of concern that, uh, you know, like maybe I wasn't strong enough to do such a big hike like that to support the joint. I, I really don't know, but uh, time will tell to see how that pans out. Um, but overall, very excited, very happy that uh, this progress is still going and I'm getting stronger and my abilities are coming back. So, you know, we'll see, we'll, we'll keep revisiting these major time marks of like a year, or a year and a half. And um, I hope to keep you updated on how that progress is going. So I'm wishing you best on your recovery journey. And, you know, just have been there. And so if you're still early on this, hopefully this video brings some inspiration to you. That was kind of my ultimate goal. All right, catch you next time.